Well, here we are headed toward the end of June, putting us about halfway through the summer, almost. And the year. And that's right, which means it's, uh, it's transition time in our Bible reading. So Luke has come to an end, and this week we're going to be beginning with Acts chapter 1. And if we're looking for a big idea mm -hmm. for this chapter, how about just it's the beginning of the rest of the story? That's right. It's Jesus now working through his apostles who he trained and commissioned to carry on his ministry. So, so think about that intentionally whenever you're, uh, when you're reading in Acts this week. Think back to Luke because mm -hmm. really it's a two-volume set that combine to give the whole story, the whole picture. And so we're picking up now uh, w with the death of Jesus. That's kind of how Luke ends. Right. And uh, with the death and, and the resurrection, and the, that's that really the overlap point right. between uh, Luke and Acts is the is the ascension, his right. return back to the Father. So, right. if you wanted to structure chapter one, really there are two big ideas. <laughs> uh, you start. Why are you laughing? Because the, like, the alliteration. You like the alliteration. <laughs> there is the ascension that begins with an A. That's the first eleven verses, and then we have the apostle. Yep who replaces Judas. So that's an easy way to remember the content of, <coughs> of the chapter is uh, ascension and then and then the picking of this new apostle. Um, anything to watch for here? Any trouble spots we need to be concerned about? It's not a real tough chapter. No, I, I think the story is straightforward. <coughs> I always like when I teach chapter one to, to notice verse eight. Verse eight is kind of the outline of the book of Acts as a whole, the, you know, which is really about the spread of the gospel the work of the Spirit, empowering the apostles to do the work. I mean, eventually, Paul will, will join that band as well later in the book. But really, this spread from Jerusalem to Samaria to the ends of the earth. And that's pretty much what we're going to see in the book. You know, these first few chapters, the spread of the gospel in Jerusalem, the growth of the Jerusalem church. Then comes persecution. Chapter 8 actually uh, focuses more on kind of that Samaritan region. There are a couple of chapters there. Um, you know, chapter 10, Cornelius, you know, kind of reaching out a little bit further up to Joppa uh, where Peter was and then up to where Cornelius is. And then uh, Paul enters the scene and takes the gospel to the ends of the earth. So Jerusalem, Samaria, ends of the earth, very much the outline of the book. The other thing that, that just by way of application that I'd call your attention to, mm -hmm. I like this guy at the end, Justice. Yeah. The guy that doesn't get picked. So he's going to be a really easy guy to miss in your reading this week. If I could urge you to kind of pause and think about being the guy that wasn't selected. What a great story there, uh, since life is always about, at points, having to be the guy that doesn't get picked, Right. That, uh, that, that doesn't get the position. Doesn't get recognized. Doesn't get recognized. Yes, that's exactly right. I think his story's interesting. I think it's worth pondering uh, that sort of fringe Bible character <laughs> and the little, the little place he has on the stage of activity here. So that's Acts chapter one. Hope you enjoy your reading for this week.